In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your YouTube videos into vertical videos using Premiere Pro. This way you can use it for Instagram stories, Instagram reels, TikToks, and YouTube shorts. This is part of pillar number two of my program, the Video Flix Effect. Now, what most startup entrepreneurs do is they create their YouTube video, they upload it, then they just leave it alone, which is fine. You'll still get your views, you'll still get your subs, but I think you're leaving a lot of time and money on the table by not distributing your content to other platforms. This is especially important when you're first starting out so you can see where your audience is. And not to worry, this video is gonna fix all that so you can stop thinking like a startup entrepreneur and start acting like a digital innovator. Here we go. All right, so we've got Premiere Pro up and ready to go. This is what your final videos will look like depending on if you're trying to do a TikTok, uh, an Insta Reel, uh, anything vertical. This is what you're, it's gonna look like once it's done in the timeline. This is a video of me, I had to, uh, do some video work where I'm throwing a baseball and hitting a baseball. So it's in standard mode because the video was sideways. Now I wanted to make it vertical. So all I'm going to do is go to file, new, sequence. And if you watch my last video, uh, I'll put a link in the description below, but you'll go into digital SLR. And in that previous video I mentioned, I talk about frame rates on your phone. It's either gonna be 24 by 1080 or 30 by 1080, mine's in 30. And then you go into settings and standard 16 by nine video is 1920 by 1080. All you're gonna do is switch these around. So it's gonna be 1080 by 1920 vertical and I've already got it saved as a preset so I know for future references so you don't have to keep doing this every time but you'll want to hit save preset and name it and you're good to go all right so now that that is done it's gonna come and it's gonna look just like this I'll even pull it down to make it a little bit bigger and then you'll just go into the video that uh, you want to use Let's just take the, yeah, let's just keep this easy. And you're just gonna copy, paste, and see how these are stretched out now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like nine or 10 clips here. And you can see these black bars here. So all you're gonna do is select this, go into effects control, and you're just gonna scale this up a little bit to your liking. There you go. Same with this one, just gonna scale it up just a little bit. And since I, my glove kind of goes up like this, you can just move this down a little bit. And then, there we go. And same with this, this is another angle. So same thing, all we're gonna do is just and see how I'm kind of out of frame there and you just mess with these right here, right? That goes up and down. This goes left to right and I'll just scooch over like that. There you go. And you can either cut, you can copy that over, but if you just want it, if you wanted something new, you just kind of have to play around to see which you liked. So, if you like that, I know that's gonna move here, so I'll move that and just scale it up. Move it over here, scale it down a little bit. There we go. And if you wanted to, if you like that, you just go into copy, right click, paste attributes, so you don't have to do that for all of them. Same with this. This was like this, so now you can copy and go to this. So you don't have to just keep repeating yourself over and over. Go to this one, same thing, paste attributes. Boom. Same thing. And then just, I care, there's so many clips, I'm just gonna do this and move it over. 
So now when you start it here, everything fits. And then what you'll do is, uh, and just to keep this super short, I'm just gonna just delete this for a second. And all you're gonna do is hit Command R. You're gonna render. Once this bar is green, and then you're gonna go into File, Export, Media. And I go to this, scroll down to 1080p. YouTube 1080p match source, that is key. You can kind of see the previews here. And then you can do Q to do, uh, if you want to edit some more, or export. And that's it, simple as that. Now it's time to take action. Download my free YouTube quick start guide. It's a free video mini course that shows you how to create professional videos for YouTube without the tech overwhelm. The link is in the description. Now that you know how to turn your YouTube videos into vertical videos, make sure you watch this next video on how to avoid the biggest mistake startup entrepreneurs are making on YouTube today. We'll see you soon.